Okay, there we go. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. Jaguar. for a moment on the field. I'm pleased you survived. This is Lady Josephine Montelier. <laughs> the our contrast. And chief diplomat. You're even taller than Oh, I shit. And of course, you know... Tension Sister already. Liana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. Yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel orange? for help. And I still disagree. Oh, nice. The Templars could serve just as well. We need I need to watch the Templar commander. thing, too. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. And Scott Templars Harding. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Also, we can't close the Dragon Age chapter yet because I want to watch the Severin's romance. Them. I want to watch Morgan's romance. I want to watch Some are calling you a lot. Gunari, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Chancellor Roderick is doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the mages or Templars for help. Because they're descended the from breach. dragons. They aren't more concerned about the breach. The real threat. They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can For some stop. reason, the voice the suits him better. Everyone, you'll make it worse. Oh my god, there good luck, Natalie. Can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable thought. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence. Yeah, while you're says there. Sims, but closer we to need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley. Dragon Age and 4 release, I think. Than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. The Inquisition cannot remain in Basel. If she can't prove it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. She looks but so cute. The brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Master Adar, this is the Marquis Master Durant, Adar. The That's what they call him. <gasps> and the rightful owner of Haven. Try refreshing Shepard to get the alert if that's what you're equipment. talking about. This and thank you. Is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Okay, I'll call you Sims. Demons are pouring from the sky, and you're worried about land claims. Haven is the Durellion's rightful property. Has Empress Helene officially acknowledged your possession of Haven? I was unaware her Imperial Majesty had conferred with Ferenin's monarchs on this matter. The Empress has not yet had the opportunity to do so. He's got some <laughs> plaid weave. We face a dark time, your grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montelier. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. I apologize for the intrusion. I didn't realize you were meeting with the Marquis. You did little harm. In truth, the debate was most beneficial as practice for those to come. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the team that's that cute, Sarah. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Mon. I can already feel Thank the tension. You. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. 
Greetings. <laughs> he didn't listen. What business are the Montpelliers in? This is so cute. Just like this big Kunari. Like, what does your family do? She is mesh. But not anymore. I kind of miss Haven. Uh, these days. Feel the breach. May I have a word? What did you need? Well, Small coffin. Talbotros, a people have asked. You grew up outside the Canary homeland, but <sighs> there is no easy way to ask your thoughts on the queue. I did not even think about runs things differently. them That's having to be Talbotros. Like be careful not to pray oh my God. Loud. People ask how a Kunari could be Andrasti's herald. It worries them if they believe it and angers them if they do not. Convincing them of your good intentions will be tasking. You'll think of something, Ambassador. <laughs> I hope so. It will be interesting. It's so fucking cold Frankly, in Georgia. Your mercenary work is not so it's So cold. People are fabricating extravagant stairs of your heroics. There wasn't a group around that didn't want my help when a tough assignment came up. If you needed it done, Adar was at the top of the list. I noticed. Leliana found Do it, Anna. Your last company. He had nothing but praise for your skill in battle, but doesn't mention what part you play. A friend of a friend got us a barrel of Gatlock powder. Explosive stuff. The bandits we were fighting found that out when their reinforcements tried to cross the bridge. How exciting. I hope life in Haven doesn't bore you compared to such <laughs> There are some things <laughs> that make worthwhile. How wonderful. Oh, you must tell me who they are. <sighs> <laughs> That's a frustrated my sigh. Way. Oh Good my day. god. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach <sighs> out to the dwarves to secure Lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, Wait, can the they? Can Iron Bull romance a Kunari? Yeah, he must. Yes. Yeah, he can. The Chantry couldn't solve its own Girl problems or boy. with added divine. Yet many people. If it were up to you, how would you reply? He's I got kind of a himbo look. <laughs> not divine intervention. Yet He's as just rumors like, your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not Oh, you did, herald. Natalie. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal Whoa, with the Whoa, the fancy? The what the fuck? The situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate Looking matters. Looking sharp, dude. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Can icon. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. No, but we play for the highest stakes. Oh, is this your death. opposite thing? The court's disapproval opposite can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. <laughs> I can't with how shiny that is. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds the winter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. I arrange for an invitation <laughs> at your discretion, Inquisitor. <laughs> Delivered so interestingly. I was just and go shopping. Foundation cracks. Yes, yes I got a dory bull. Hi, Nerfi. I'm doing okay. How are you? Staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. Yeah, I had a banter mod. No, we just survived Corypheus and a dragon. And they must be confident we are able to do so again. 
The mages were engaged to go in the shopping. Of fortitude. They should feel safe here. Do you not feel safe here? Oh. Difficulty. Forgetting Corypheus's attack. Yeah, that was kind of traumatizing. You know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming. Yeah, it really helped. It was like party banter, and I did it every like two to three minutes. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest. Oh, I love emotional. Emotional. Kunari Inki. you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lord. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention. And I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I need to go shopping. I'm loath <gasps> to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Oh. Well, He's such I a gentleman. Fetch, let me fetch the steward. No. That isn't <laughs> precisely what Josie, I was Josie, no. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. Um, she's so cute and clueless. And what else did Lady Porcythia say? That she'd rather Beauty drown herself than help the Inquisition. Me. Anything else? She said she'd have us. She's even in gold. Like we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Got a few potential alliances. It would be good to discuss. Okay, they're finally going on the walk. Right on the parlor floor, in front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Jinnar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard stains on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits his whim. She not needs to, mention... to vent. Oh, oh goodness. Have find you people. Find you people who will let you vent and no it questions so asked quickly, I didn't even and notice. won't You're judge too polite. or... I didn't intend to tell go on anyone for so long. else. Oh, you must think me quite the gossip. No, you're just venting. Spending time with such an engaging woman is never unpleasant, Lady. Nerfie, I remember you. I'm... You're so sweet. Well, I'm, I'm glad I haven't wasted your day. Well, I've taken up quite enough of your time That's already. So sweet. Until you're next so time. Cute. Your I love this dynamic. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on yeah, your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Perhaps the Maker set these events in motion so long ago, we can no longer see his hand in them. It would be fitting Yeah, it does feel like Disney Princess. Yes. The anchor, that is. Only when I laugh. Oh. Very good, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. I remember you said your family had been forbidden from trading in Orlais. It's devastated our finances. The Montelier's have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. I had no idea your family's situation was so precarious. Hardly anyone outside the family does. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become hell restoring my family's... My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. These assassins. Oh, look at his outfit here. The Duparakets. But the Duparakets died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. In so we destroy They're this matching. house of repose before They're assassins matching. appear at Skyhold's doorstep. There may be a less confrontational way to end this. The Duparakets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a duparaket could annul the contract on my life. Yellow! Uh, that will take time, Lady Montelier. ...about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor. Just normally much more reclusive. 
The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette... Alien, that's so sweet. I love Freddy. An interesting one. I wish you luck. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Get him. Pass. Just threaten him. Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? You're dead. <laughs> go, then. Wait, Good can day. you not, like, finish the romance with her if you kill him? I pray we never meet again. <laughs> What happens if you kill him? You just kill him right there? You're dead. Bye. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Do you hear something? Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize no, the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... Mm. A locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. Mm. I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Between our soldiers and spies, Skyhold's safer than anywhere else in Thetis. Yet the problem persists. I've tracked down the last two paraquets. <laughs> Bumble loves that emo. Isn't it so good? Nati is amazing. We require a noble from Val Royale to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify Val Royale. I'd be happy to discuss where we could be. Here we go. Oh, I remember this. Liliana's report. Her people infiltrated They're so the League of Assassins cute together. Targeting. The contract on your life has been destroyed. You should be safe now. And Yay. thus we outwit the House of Repose. It's an unpleasant business, but you're safe now. I've no doubt that the guild was staffed by vicious men and women, Inquisitor. It's simply... Did I ever mention I used to be a bard? I remember a this. Bards entertain the Orlesian courts. They sing, play music, make charming conversation, and spy. Many young nobles put on a mask and practice playing the game in such a fashion. What made you interested in becoming a bard? I was attending a university in Valroyo when Gargoyles? I Is that a show? There was such an air of romance about them. Stories of secrets, trysts, and fascinating people. A group of us, young gentry from Antiva, decided this exciting life was to my cheeks. You've... <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. I feel I'm the last... Sorry, You've sorry, sorry. you a clear enough picture. But it was such a waste, Inquisitor. When I took off his mask, I knew yeah, him. Yeah, she killed We'd someone, remember, guys? Together. If I'd stopped to reason, if I'd used my voice instead of scuffling like a common thug... I'll always wonder who that young man would have grown into. Honey, you're okay. He seemed willing enough to murder you for the game. Perhaps. I feel I'm the last to judge whether or not he would have actually used the blade. In all the commotion... Uh, forgive me. I don't believe I ever thanked you for helping me with this. Oh. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Such a gracious woman deserves nothing less. Ah! I... Such talk. I'm quite overcome. Should I stop? <gasps> no. Oh! I mean, yes. Oh! I meant... No, oh. I, I don't... Well, if you meant to draw a blush to my cheeks, you've completely succeeded. Oh my Let's god. Let's before anyone notices. <laughs> Before anyone notices that you're blushing, honey. So cute. Inquisitor, may I have a word? 
I notice you've paid Lady Montelier quite a number of compliments. Oh my god. Yes, I enjoy her company very much. An entanglement with our ambassador seems most unwise. Hey! I asked Josephine to join the Inquisition because we needed a diplomat. Oh. Not so she could be toyed with. Oh, she's protecting Whatever her. Whatever is between me and Josephine <gasps> is none of your concern. Oh. I disagree, Inquisitor. I brought her here. Oh, protective Liliana. Courtly intrigue. But love? There she's an innocent. She has no idea you are truly attracted to her. If indeed you are. Yes, I'm very attracted to Josephine. Is that so? Whatever is between you, I ask that you treat her with kindness. For her sake, as well as yours. Hi, Snark. Whatever happens, I'm glad to see Josephine has a concerned friend here. I have so few true friends these days. Those that are left, I deeply cherish. I will not trouble you any further, but I do watch over my friends. Good day, your worship. Oh. That's really sweet. Well, Liliana just gave me quite the speech. What about? About us. Ooh. Oh, she is impossible. Might we discuss this somewhere more private? Leliana said I was an innocent in love? <laughs> more or less. Of all the... I'm quite capable of understanding our association. <laughs> I've never thought your intentions were overly romantic, <laughs> I, I assure you. I should have flirted harder. Would my attentions be unwelcome if they were romantic? <gasps> what? Oh, no. <laughs> that is... She's so cute! <laughs> We've only just... I, I didn't wish to presume you harbored any tender feelings for me. But I am attracted to you. Quite, in fact. But we haven't even known each other a few short months. Oh. How can you declare this liking for me after such a brief time together? I've never met anyone whose presence affects me like you do. Perhaps it just means I'm a hopeless romantic. But there you have it. I would not object to a closer relationship. Oh my god. Us, if that sounds agreeable to you. You have no idea how happy I am to hear that. Well, then. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Not the foot pop. Oh, my God. Hi, Knight. How are you, my Lord? That's so cute. Y'all were like, it's like a romance novel and it's like a i don't know like you were like it's it's so cute <laughs> and i didn't expect it to be this fucking cute but i also love seeing this kunari guy just being so hopelessly romantic like she deserves it that's really cute simmer no jeff just at the right time Always better for the sight of you, Lady Maltese. Ah! <laughs> oh my. Now I need some Kunari much, much. man fanfics. How far do your roots go back to our I area? also haven't seen any videos Very on hard. Kunari women. The Montiliers used to have vast holdings in Malfoy. Yes, Shin, yes. I wish I could have seen them. I totally Especially get it now. the ones bearing the family crest. The original crest design was abandoned when we were exiled from the city. I've always wanted to find Have fun, Bree. Let's speak later. Goodbye. Goodbye. All of these romances are so good. There is not a single bad romance. Well, you could call Solus's bad. <laughs> if, I, if he wasn't such a fucking good, just well-written character, it's not even that his romance is bad. It's just like all of the other ones have such like, they take care of your hearts 
and like there's so much <laughs> to learn and i feel like solaces is just fucking pain but out of all of them that i've seen his is like the worst but still i wouldn't really romance anyone else <laughs> a fucking egg you have failed us egg just the fact that you can go and like kiss your romance and like uh, they better they better best written yeah and i think so what i meant by that was like not best or worst that was the wrong way to put it but like the most content and the most like feel good even like all the other ones are just feel good even with black ball you do get your heart broken but it ends satisfying and you know where it's going but i guess with solace it's like less content and we're just now waiting to find out what really happens it's like intense and i again wouldn't romance anyone else because <laughs> i'm just like in so level in hell but i just need my questions answered yeah collins is so like oh my gosh the way he just loves to hug her <sighs> But I thought it was very sweet than the other. Much more love than the other. Wait, what do you mean? I thought his romance was very sweet. I thought, like, it was really well done. And, like, they hugged a lot and they were cute. And there was just, like, it's all just so good. It's such well-written romance. It's such well-written female romance. Like, queer romance. I don't know. It's all really, really good. No, see, Knight, I think when I try to romance someone else, it's going to feel like cheating on Solas. And there ain't no way. There ain't no way I'm romancing anyone but Alistair in Origins. Ain't no way. Like, I already know. It's not going to happen. That's why I need to watch all the other. It's not going to happen. That is my man. That's my husband. Why? What's this? You said you wanted to see your original family crest. I found one for you. But I don't really want to play as... I'm astonished. I don't know. I like playing I women. Hope that any I'm of the very woman. I'm existed. very... <gasps> it even has oh. our first motto. Back from when we had... Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'll just, like, get my words out, and then we'll focus and watch. So, yeah, what I want to do... I don't know if I'll do it on stream. I just don't know if there's, like, interest. But I definitely want to make an origin where it's a human noble and then again like there's no way i will be able to play a hawk that's not purple hawk so my next playthrough i think would be human noble and then try to make alistair king just to see and then rule together and then um in dragon age 2 I might even change this for my canon playthrough. I think that my purple hawk, I think Pepper should be with Isabella. I love Fenris. Well, yeah, I just, that's the only thing that I'm like, have a little bit of regrets for. I'm excited. Yeah, Val, I just don't know how many people want to watch me play through all the is by and always human so there's not a lot of point wait right but you could play as like angry or um blue which is like very righteous and nice you can marry anora and ditch her for more again oh shit yeah i don't know i just like looking back that's the only thing i'm like i feel like pepper should have ended up with Isabella or at least like let's try and let's see yeah I had a trading fee to speak of but I love Fenris From me C as sure. Megan I love we Fenris <laughs> anything to see you smile stop you certainly succeeded 
Thank you. Girly time. I've there done it and I don't regret it. I've been oh. looking all over for you. I've just received the most no. terrible news. What is it? I'm engaged. To me? <laughs> <laughs> for the past year, my mother... See that again. <laughs> there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I've just received the most terrible news. What is it? <laughs> I'm engaged. To me? <laughs> for the past year, my mother That's and father so have funny. searched on Tiva for a match for me. <laughs> they had no idea you and I had grown so close. Today, I received a letter declaring they've betrothed me to Lord Adorno. Oh my Jelly god, this is so cool. I must deal with this. But until then, we cannot be seen in a compromising situation. Oh my god, can we duel I'm him? I'm so sorry. Oh. Are you saying we should act like nothing has happened between us? No, no, Aww. not at all. But it is not right that we carry on while I am betrothed. I must break off the match first. What a respectable girl. I assume your parents have political alliances resting on this engagement. For once, that is something quite far from my mind. Oh, this is not what I wanted to happen. I barely remember Lord Otranto. Wait, what if I she likes him? This. And to my other duties. If I can keep my mind on them today at all. <laughs> She's so fucking cute. Wait, so if you does this happen if you're a girl? I will have it would have to. It better not be some fucking mistress. I am Lord Otranto Aventia, rightfully betrothed of Lady Josephine Montillier. The songs of your exploits have spread to my city, Inquisitor. It's humbling to make your acquaintance. <laughs> it's a duel, it's a duel, it's a duel, it's a duel. Wait, I love this so much. Oh, oh my God. It will not last longer. Before we duel, I trust you find the weapon to your satisfaction. Absolutely. Then let Fight. us begin. Fight for your woman. Fight for your woman. Damn, this is so good. Go, go, go. An admirable start, Inquisitor. He's the Inquisitor. Who are you? Like, you think you're gonna win? Perhaps not all Kunari are the simple peasants rumors paint them to be. No, he did not. No, he did not. I'm glad Lady Montillier isn't here. Exquisite as I've heard her appearance to be. Ew. Cutting you down in front of Josephine would have given a poor first impression of House Otranto to my bride. <gasps> Strange. I would think the Otrantos already have enough blood on their hands after cheating the Terrazzas. Who told you? You dare to bring up that slander here? Spies. Liliana Network, baby. Oh! Inquisitor, I will personally... Stop! Oh... Oh. Josephine. Uh-oh. Lady Montillier. What a pleasure to. What are you doing? No. <laughs> Josephine, I can't take the chance that you might have to marry him. <laughs> That's not your decision. Oh, the Inquisition needs you. I need you. Yet you threw yourself into danger. For you. I do this. Why risk everything we've built? Why risk your life? <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> this is so cute. You do? He does? <laughs> and 
I mean it. Every so word. Cute. I love you too. Well fought. What? <laughs> North of Tranto. I'd assumed your liaison with the Inquisitor was an affair of passion okay, or good convenience, job, dude. But I'm not fool enough to stand in the way of true affection. Okay, the good. The Atrantos regretfully withdraw the terms of our betrothal. Yay, good job. It's sad think. that... I know when well, I'm whatever. outmatched. Oh, the dawn will come. Josephine, I've never been happier in my life. We're tempting fate with such talk, but neither have I. Just do kiss me again. Just do kiss me again. She deserves it. I love this so much. Her little <laughs> pop pop. I can't stop thinking about your duel in Val Royale. Running into the middle of the crowd, the noise, the swords flashing. I was so worried for you, but at the same time, well, it was the most exciting thing I've seen in ages. <laughs> I was worried you'd still be angry that I started that duel in the first place. I was only worried for your safety. Your position allows for so little of it. You know, when I first laid eyes on you back at Haven, I hadn't an inkling we'd become so close. But you at least told yourself, my, what a stunningly <laughs> handsome man. <laughs> you are too much. <laughs> These moments seem so dear, especially given your greater calling. She's just Sometimes so grateful. I must remind myself that I'm required to share you with the rest of the world. Oh my god. The world may want my time, Josephine. But you have my heart. Stop. Then I count myself happy. Beyond compare. Why did I choose pain? Why did I choose solace? Why did I choose pain? Why did I choose heartbreak? This is so sweet. They're so cute. That's such a genuine cuddle. It's good to see you. Has our being together set any tongue wagging? The egg did choose me. A rumor already gave you a dozen suitors the moment you took your title. Who were these rumors pairing me with? I can only speak to what was whispered in several courts. Josephine. <sighs> to begin with. Yeah, he Cassandra, did get me a castle. Liana, Colin, Dorian, Mother Giselle, <laughs> and Gender Fiona, <laughs> Chancellor Roderick, three R's, two counts, and some man named Philip. Honestly, I don't think he even exists. Hey, no, I love, I love Philip. <laughs> Philip and I had a one night stand. Together, Josephine. I'll think nothing of it. She'd disapprove of anyone I chose to keep serious company with. Back in Valroyo, Eliana was practically my older sister. Aww. No, I agree, so Simmer. I, I'm very grateful. He's my man. A romantic. That's you did hear man. me say Eliana was like a sister to me. She's a most dear friend. And nothing more. I came to see if I could steal you away for a few minutes for myself. So you can just kiss her. Oh, goodness. Um, quickly then. Oh, before my God. Anyone needs something from us. Okay, Bumble. Have a good lurk. Don't tell me you just go and kiss her. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. They could have at least given us <laughs> that with Solus for just Look a little up, bit. Everybody. Deal him in, would you Into the garden. I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since the I Philip the game romance. I Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? Are three drakes better than a pair of swords? Ugh, I can never remember. Cassandra, Secret. you didn't show remember up to mine. Don't show Because we didn't have high enough hand. approval. That rule includes announcing it to the table. There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. 
Don't talk to the face cards, kid. <laughs> you seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit forming. Give it a try. <laughs> Surely, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. It's true. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe. You get to sit I'm next to Josie. At... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? Of course. Deal me in, Josephine. Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you're joining us. Ante up, Inquisitor. Guys, have you ever romanced Philip as a dwarf? I'm surprised Philip isn't playing with him. <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> What did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> <laughs> he did not. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. <laughs> Too unlikely. Oh, I think because of who I was I've missing in my you. playthrough, it so made it more awkward. For a simple caravan escort in southern Navarra. <laughs> Twelve days of walking alongside donkeys I and men who that, smelled though. like donkeys across flat nothingness. Across flat nothingness. <laughs> Chakrakar turned to the donkey and said, We'll let this go if you will, and walked away. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. I like the part with the <laughs> rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. <laughs> <laughs> that was scandalous. It would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. <laughs> <laughs> and the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Feel me in. <laughs> that laugh is me socializing post COVID. <laughs> That's you guys when I tell Don't a bad joke a on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. You won the whole pot. I knew you could do it, my love. Oh. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our commander's walk of shame back to the back. He's completely naked. Well, I do. <laughs> it comes off. I didn't know it came off. <laughs> it never gets old. Never gets old. Glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Aww. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? I wouldn't miss it. Good. It'll take me a while to talk Cullen into it. Maybe I'll work the revenge angle. Who's that? <laughs> Did I win? Sarah. <laughs> She's crazy. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. They're matching. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up. Don't worry. 
The game is like Wicked Grace. I don't remember this. You must never. Oh, is it the? When you meet the Empress, okay, the I eyes see. of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. The bull, in particular. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. Oh. And Rasta watch over us all. <laughs> Bastien Boclin. Josephine. Oh, Josephine. <gasps> is this him? Oh, this is going to be so cute. Please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Right, you Summer. And Josephine are going to elope and move <gasps> to the Andafels and join the Grey Wardens and fight Darkspawn? Oh my god. Yet? I want to know. I already packed our bags. Didn't I, darling? <laughs> I knew it. Inquisitor, please give her no <laughs> more ammunition. Cute. I beg you. This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette, stop. <laughs> this is cute no matter what. Climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with a doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette, that's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> I'll see you later. Another time. Wow, look at that dress. So beautiful. Her eyebrow. Is everything all right? Aww. You look troubled. Just tired. Oh. Things went according to plan for once. I couldn't be happier. Tonight was a triumph. You should be proud. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Yes. Would you care to dance with me, Lady Joseph? Oh! I was hoping you'd ask. Yay! Yeah. Oh, the height difference. He's literally like twice her size. How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen She would look so beautiful in a gold dress. And a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. The nobility needed a shock. Corypheus played them all for fools. I agree completely. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. It's so good, Shin, isn't it? Playing the game was thrilling. We did just make history. Indeed. Tales of this affair have begun circulating in Val Royale. Although I do wish Varric would show a bit more restraint in his accounts of the evening. I was hoping <laughs> he'd be by. We've received letters from Archon Redanus of Tevinter and King Marcus of Nevara. For both monarchs to come to us is nearly unheard of. More proof the Inquisition's fame has spread. Fame is one thing. Asking for help is another. Our Wait, Redan where is this? Inquisitor, I hear this Illuvian lies... Wait, what the fuck? I don't think I saw her now. here. Promise me you'll leave the instant the fight comes closer. Oh. Return once you can. That's cute. We must.
must plan for you to fight one last duel, my darling. My darling. Once you find Corypheus, I suppose we must wait. I'll be thinking of you every step past Skyhold. Flattering, but you have my permission to think of your battle. Please be sure to. I, I hope that you... Maker, I wish you didn't have to go. Oh. You mean the world to me, Josephine Montivier. Then return to me safely. <sighs> I must attend to some tasks before you draw out our enemy. Do go before I begin to cry. Oh, she's so cute. Everything's in place. Corypheus now waits on you to approach the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Still, do be careful. Please. She's so sweet. You did it. Wait, yeah, I want to see how she greets him. like an I was gonna say an Don't iron bowl never a kun kunari inquisitor be up there it's really fine. precious it is not. this game is so good I'm so sorry nothing's quite as it should be uh, do you like the drinks I I'm not sure about them the drinks are fine it's been a wonderful evening I hope you're not just saying that you're not are you what a disaster late the invitation to our guest bedroom yeah i love and, that and and then i just so got nothing because i chose solace so i got nothing do you know what everyone is talking about tonight because he left to kings? us Thedas is discussing the success of the inquisition we deserve you got pain <laughs> yes i did yes i rather think we do truly we will Never forget those we lost, but for tonight, to victory. To victory. May I join you? <gasps> oh. 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 Oh my god. Oh. I wanted to catch you. Uh, the Imagine if we were still watching the silver braid. <laughs> Canary. I've never witnessed such a lovely sight. Oh. No alien. We saw it with the silver braid, the white braid. Nor I. Oh, he's looking at her. Sometimes your words are so sweet, they ache. That's love. That's you. It's been good to have the celebration. Free of what the future holds. Whatever awaits us, my lord. I know only one thing. I would never have you face it alone. That was it's so, so good sweet. to see you, darling. darling. I've been feeding Orlesian diplomats all afternoon. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving mm -hmm. themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. 
The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Welcome back, Bamboo. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock. <laughs> I will chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <laughs> I know Sarah, <laughs> right? Not precisely. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening <gasps> tonight. Oh, yeah! To which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd this like me to so go with cute. you? cute. Very much so. In all the years you worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. Sometimes, I'm afraid I do not make enough time for you, my love. Oh. Please, come with me tonight. If it makes you happy, how can I refuse? Cute. Oh, wonderful. I was worried we wouldn't find Cute. the time. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. Yes. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo. Bravo. <laughs> it's even funnier with the Kunari Inquisitor. <laughs> Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who Wait, I really feathers? hope he makes it so that he oh, loved it's all very it. Simple. The first actor's mask is determined by. Uh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? Say yes, say yes, say yes. Oh, okay. The performance pales in comparison. Oh, okay. To the lady I saw it That's with. just a lavender thing, though. She was like, I Our loved it. The question. Oh. Love leaves my tongue tied. Oh, you schmoozer. Well, in that case, Sweet talker. I suppose allowances can be made. Oh, nice, Sarah. Have fun. Oh, shit. Guys, you're in public. It's making me want to play The Witcher in a weird way. I do hope you recovered from your night at the opera. Any ear ringing should go away in a day or two. Hello, my love. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, your holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns. The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Care Bronach in Crestwood. We were protecting the citizens of Ferelden because you couldn't. The Mage Rebellion made it difficult to keep order, Artigan. The Inquisition was only offering help. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course, Orle tolerates this interference. Without the Inquisition, Selene would have neither her throne nor her elven... Wait, I didn't even... Marquis. Oh. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well right, Summer. mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Sister Leliana asked to Sister speak with Leliana. you in private. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montillier, can you Look handle this Look at Divine Vivienne. Did I, anyone else do of that? Of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. Are we not even worth the Inquisitor's time? This elf is Solus a spy. Oh my god. One dead canary was bad enough. Now we have really? more and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The Canari may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. Yeah. They also have no reason to be here or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now. The Canari can't hide forever. They're inside those Illuvians somewhere. 
We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. I'm interested in Cassandra Divine. I'm state. happy that I chose Leliana though. The nobles ruffled feathers for mine. While we Hi, the Katie. Problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Hey! Our only advantage is that Orlay and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. I know we're asking a lot of you, Ambassador. I promise we won't make this any harder for you than necessary. Oh. I know, my love. I'm sorry. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And my while love. Jesse does that, we will investigate. I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Canari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. Fucking soulless. I'm glad to see you safe after Cassandra Divine is so miserable, really? I do not have to tell you to be careful, my love, but tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians. Yes, yeah, Summer. Are they safe to explore? We're taking every precaution we can, Josephine. I will take your word for it. And yet, you've accomplished so much in the past years. Why is Liliana not romanceable not in this one? Us. Again. I won't take unnecessary risks. I have someone far too important to come back to. Aww. And she will be happy for your return. Be Cute. safe, my lord. Please. I will do what I can here. Once the canary are dealt with, brace yourself. Because the she was a romance. Oh, so you can't repeat romances. Cause old. Dragon's breath. Cause the old? Always no, you old. didn't, chaotic. Cause but what old. Who <laughs> knows? Canary agents <laughs> moving through Illuvians to attack the South is bad enough already. Okay, I see. I still do not understand why they accused the Inquisition of serving Fenerel. Corypheus tried to set himself up as a god. Maybe someone who knows elven history is doing the same. But how does that implicate us? Ma what made them decide that the Inquisition so Solus will Fen not Hel. be romanceable in Dragon Age 4. Stop them. Ben Arrow. Let's see the exalted council try to <laughs> yeah. expand the Inquisition after we've saved them from this dragon's breath. We must find out what dragon's breath is first. For now, our only lead is the Canari leader, the Vidisala. Gentlemen. Oh, this DLC is My so apologies, good. Lady Josephine. There has been an incident with one of your soldiers. How dare you? Okay. It was bad enough that the Inquisition oh, chose not to you. Do you understand why we fear? How long before you drag us into an... The Canari will feel the loss of their... ...them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is they responsible at for least that threat. Knock. <gasps> We're the League? Really? I take it you have new information. The elven servant handling the barrels confessed to working for the Canari. But the servant was Orlesian. That mm. implicates Orlay, not okay, us. Okay, well. That makes sense. But the sense. barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition supply manifest. It makes sense. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? The Inquisition stopped Corypheus and saved the world. We can't let an outside threat change who we are. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted right, council. Summer. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies. You hid the Kunari body. You've all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. <laughs> Do you know what this has cost us? I literally have seen this before, but they I'm like... They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. You can do the angry one. Be angry, dude. Yes! Oh, shit! Damn it! We save Ferelden and they're angry. We save Orlay and they're angry. We closed the breach twice, and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? <sighs> I need to get to the Darvarad. You all can fight amongst yourselves once I'm... 
once I'm back. I love it. She's just like. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you. Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. I know. Leliana, the. I can. Uh, you know, female Inquisitor, one voice is like. This is my response. <laughs> at that point, she's like. Zing! I'll have guards ready at the Illuvia <laughs> in case the Canari attack the palace. When your hand turns, she's like. Zing! Oh. I love her armor. <laughs> yes, Jeff, my whole playthrough is uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> you guys don't scream like that? Yeah, I stub my toe when I'm like, Zing! Yeah. yeah, I kind of go silent when I stub my toe. After easing the Inquisition's transition into the Chantry, Josephine returned to Antiva and her family. Okay. Wait, transition into the Chantry? Is that what happens when you don't disband? She was soon approached by an agent from the House of Repose whose assassins had been killed by Inquisition agents on Josephine's behalf. Oh. Hi, Tan. Far from being offended, the House of Repose was inquiring as to whether Josephine might have need of their services. Hmm. She quickly persuaded them she has no need for assassins, but instead hired them as guards for the Montelier's new trading vessels. Rib. Vani pirates looking to rekindle an ancient feud soon learned that the Montilia ships were not lightly boarded and her house prospered greatly. Hmm. The Inquisitor found himself warmly received by Josephine's family and house Montilia soon became a second home. Her little kick! A place where the Inquisitor could at least at last, find peace for a time with Josephine happily by his side. That's so cute. So fresh. Yeah, Val, for sure. Kaiser, thank you. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. Maintaining the Inquisition, even as a peacekeeping force, leaves us vulnerable to agents of the Dread Wolf. But also gives us the strength to respond. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us, who we are, how we work, Don't our remind me. and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't and know. And she's by his side. We will stop Solus by any means necessary. Uh-oh. That's the first time I've seen... Oh, shit. That's the first time I've seen Not Redeemed. Literally, that's the first one I've seen that's not... Help our friend. My mom called. What are we watching? We watched um Josephine's. Arya? 